Okay, let's talk today about the NVR. This is a network video recorder from Zossi. Here you can see H65 HD NVR, which means this device can record videos from an IP camera, just like this one. As you can see, there's a lens here, LEDs for nighttime. And then back here, you have the cables. So you can connect this cable here to the NVR. You can also power on the camera if you connect a power supply just here. So basically, what you're gonna do is use a cable like this one and connect this to the camera. Okay, this cable comes in the kit. So here's, there's a RJ45 connector. You just connect to the camera like this here. And then you can use this connector for protection just that way and here you can hold the cable here you go so there is an led here so when the camera is on you can see it and of course this side of the cable you're going to connect to the nvr so basically here you don't need to use a power supply you have a here a connection for a power supply but as long as you have the NVR close to the camera, close enough to the camera, you don't need to use this extra power supply because with one single cable, the network cable, you can power the camera on. Let me just show you guys how it works. Let me just move this NVR here so you can see the back of it. So let me just turn it away. And you can, as you guys can see, I have everything connected already. I have a monitor here and this cable, HDMI cable is coming to my monitor so I can see the camera here. And also here I have a power supply connected here already. Here's a button I can power on and off. And here are the ports for the cameras from one to eight. Those are PoE ports, power over ethernet ports. That what I mean, I can power the camera on just connecting the cable here. Here USB ports, so you can connect a thumb drive here to back up videos. Local area network, so you can connect a cable here and connect to your router. So this device can have access to the internet. Here VGA cable, just in case you're not gonna use the HDMI, you can use the VGA. Audio output, you can put a speaker here and audio input. Okay, so basically a lot of connection here. I'm going to connect my camera here. So I just get the cable and I plug it here. As you guys can see, there is a LED here and we can see the LED here working. Okay, it's blinking, so meaning the camera is working. And the camera is going to power on and then you can see here in the monitor. Okay, it's just simple like this. Let me just put the camera into position here. It takes like uh, 30 to 40 seconds. Then, then you can see the video here on the screen. If the video doesn't show up, you can just go to a menu and the menu can add the camera. It's pretty simple. As you can see, I just connected the camera here. Nothing more than that. I connected the NVR here into the power supply and also the HDMI cable to see in the monitor. It's just simple like this. And here I can use a mouse to configure my, the, my system, okay? So let's wait for a while, see if we got the camera here in the monitor. All right, and later you can also see images here in the computer. That's why I have a computer here, a laptop. You can see images from this device directly into your computer and also into a cell phone. So here, if the camera doesn't show up, you just need to come here with the right click of the mouse IPC channel config and here you can search for your camera. So you hit search here, then you are going to look for your camera. Here we go. So you just click here in the camera and everything is populated here. You just click add and here we go. You have your camera as you can see back there. Double click so I can maximize this. And as you can see, I have my camera working here and pretty simple okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, install this camera in the other room so i can come back and show you guys some more features of this nvr 
Now I have the camera in the other room. As you guys can see here with the mouse, I can control everything. I just right click here and I can see a menu with single channels. I can see channel by channel here. I have eight channels total. Multi-screen, I can see different ways. Let's see, let's say I wanna see that way. So one camera here, the other camera is going to be here. Okay, so I can keep changing the way I want to. I can start a scam, meaning I see the four cameras and then it changes to the next four. They keep changing. Okay, so come, comes to the next four cameras and then back to the first ones. Here we go. Double click, I see full screen and I can stop the scam. Here I can play with the colors. So here there, there's brightness, hue, saturation, contrast. I just change here and it takes a while and you can see the difference here. Okay, if you go to saturation or contrast, you can do the same. It takes a while and then you can see the difference here. Here we go. You can like come back to the way it was, just hit here and save. And you can do this channel by channel. Okay. And here you can also use ISM, meaning it's a electronic ISM. I can have four or eight. And then I can start playing with the electronic ISM or digital ISM. I can come back to the original one. Here, audio when there's audio available it's not available here snap i can take a snap picture of what i'm seeing here stop record playback and here ipc channel when something is not working when you plug your camera your camera is not working you just come here to ipc channel you're gonna find your camera it's going to include your camera here in the nvr that's pretty simple and here the main menu the main menu you can control everything in the dvr in the NVR. You have setup to set up your system, search, backup, information about the system, disk management, log off, shut down, and upgrade. Let me just get into the setup menu. You can see a sub menu here with basic, live, record, schedule, alarm, network, user, and advanced. And here, search. You can search based on date and time. As you can see here, I have recording every, uh, some different days here. Just come back here, backup. You can backup what you have recorded in your NVR. You just hit here, search, and shows shows you what you have recorded, the date and time. Information about the system, a sub menu again, with a lot of information about the system, event, logs, network, online users, and can exit back. Disk management, you can have your the information about your hard drive here. You can format it and just back here log off you can log off your system i'm not going to do that right now shut down i'm not going to shut down right now and upgrade you can just upgrade your system in this case it's using the last version i don't need to update okay